Um, number one, let's just talk about our role working in, in analytics. Um, it doesn't matter if you're an implementer, an architect, uh, an analyst, an, an optimization strategist. Your job isn't to be an expert in and just use the tool. That's, that's part of it. But your job is to really understand the, the business and the entirety of the customer experience. Um, and then it kind of leads into your second point of like experiencing what the customer experiences. Um, and I, and I had the same thought. I thought, you know, if, if, if any analyst, um, had, had actually gone through the process of doing this, um, the buy online pickup and store process, they would see how clunky it was. I don't think any analyst had ever actually done it. Um, and it's not surprising because I, you know, I've talked to so many people over the years where, you know, I'll have gone through the process and I'll have some insight into the customer experience and I'll ask the analyst, I'm like, have you ever bought a product from your company? I was like, I don't even think I've been on my company's website. <laughs> like, you know, so, you know, our job isn't just the data. You know, if, if we're an analyst, if we're an implementer, we have to be going through the customer experience ourselves. We have to be talking to people. We have to, there's so much more to our job than just using the tool. And I think that that is a, a huge problem and is a detriment to, to what we're, we're trying to do as an industry. To your point around experiencing the park, absolutely. Uh, I think anytime you can go through the process and, and firsthand understand what it feels like to be a customer, it makes you so much better at your role. With the one asterisk of, you have to go through that experience as a customer. And then I'll give you one example. We worked with a retailer many, many years ago uh, who had a Boppus um, program uh, and, and it had some rough edges to it. And I asked the question, I'm like, have, have, have any of the, the team actually gone through the Boppus process? And they're like, yeah, we have a, we have a predefined process, you know, and, and at least they had a test credit card. It's like, here's the test credit card. You have to place an order from this store. And, and they had the whole thing prearranged with this one specific location in the city close to the company headquarters. And it worked really smoothly, but it was different from every other experience. And the same for the park. Like if, as a, if I'm a Disney executive and I go to the park to experience it as a guest and I'm treated like a VIP because I'm an executive, I'm missing out on the opportunity to have the experience of that, that customer. If, you know, the same for any of them. If I'm a CEO or I'm, and I'm, an, or I'm an analyst and I want to see what it's like to use our mobile app and then have an offline experience in store, but I'm... I'm seen as like not the, you know, I, I need to do the undercover boss approach because if I'm seen as the CEO or the analyst and they know me, they're like, oh, let's make sure they get the best experience and we're missing out on that. So yes, like I think it's so important to put ourselves um, in the shoes of the customer, but we need to make sure we're doing it as the customer. We need to have that experience. And so often... Again, I give these data teams credit. At least they're trying, but they've they've manufactured this QA process of the customer experience so much that the experience that they have looks vastly different than what the everyday customer has. Mm -hmm.